All right, today we're going to be giving you a kind of an unboxing, a, a quick review of a new bait feeder spinning reel that we picked up uh, to use for a carp fishing. Um, it is a Cast King Sharky Bait Feeder 3. Uh, this is a size 5000, so it's one of the bigger ones. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get it opened up, take a look at it. Comes in this box. You do get an extra spool, um, which is kind of nice. You can put a different kind of line on it or have a backup if you should need it. Um, so that's really handy. Put that to the side. It looks like it comes in a kind of a nice little nylon type bag. Pull the reel out and yeah, here's the reel. It's a, a pretty attractive, it's a, a black and red, kind of a chrome red color. So it looks kind of cool. Um, it feels feels well well made. It's this thing is mostly metal. Everything I'm feeling feels to be kind of a metal. There might there's some some poly like plastic on it, but a lot of this thing's metal. It does have one of those really nice roller big sized handles you can really get your hands on. I'll go ahead and tighten it up here so that we can see the handle in its true form, not folded up. Alright, so there it is tightened up and yeah, seems to move really smoothly and nice. It goes up and down as it should. The bale is really solid. I mean, I don't know if you can see that's thick. That is, that's really nice too because those, that's going to be one of those things on your spinning reels that, that might fail first because it's just, it's exposed, it kind of hangs out and oftentimes it's flimsy. It, there's not as much connecting it, but this one feels pretty solid so. That's nice. You can hear that uh, drag. It's got, got a pretty good noise to it. And then, as it's a bait feeder, it's got uh, this rear drag system, this clutch. So there it is engaged. It's not particularly loud, but it seems to, to move and sound as it should. But I've found with a lot of these, and I, yeah, you can disengage it by simply just reeling. I typically like to grab my reel and then I'll disengage it myself and then I start fighting the fish. But uh, you'll find that it, most bait feeders sound like that. They don't have those really loud clickers like you get on like a lot of the Abu Garcia, the bait casters that people use for catfishing. Um, but that's fine. Uh, most people that use these use bite alarms uh, much like we do. So uh, the clicker, you, the spool clicker, you're not going to be really hearing that anyway you're going to hear your loud beeping from your bite alarm so when that line starts to pull um yeah it seems to be really nice nicely made reel i'm, I'm very happy with this um see if we can find out oh, there it is on the top we've got the kind of this the specs on it uh yeah like i said it's got a gear ratio of five five one uh the pound and yards of line and I'm going to assume this is, they're talking mono most of the time they put these specs. It's for mono. So uh, it looks like 10 pound line, you get 340 yards, 12 pound, 290 yards, and 14 pound, 250 yards. That's a pretty good amount. I'll be putting uh, either 12 or 20 pound braid on, so I can probably get a lot more on there. I probably will use a mono backing, but uh, I can get a lot more braid because the braid... Uh, the millimeter diameter of it is much smaller than than mono is so um, that's that it does have a nice size spool it's got this etching on here to kind of hold, hold your line on so that that's kind of nice as well um, but yeah looks looks to be a really really good looking reel um, pull what else we got out of the box here set that to the side looks like you got a couple extra o-rings not exactly sure where, where they go, but I'm sure if I ever find out with an issue, uh, I will need those. So put those to the side. Looks like it just sends you uh, your basic warranty card. Um, yeah, that you can sign up for, which probably isn't a bad idea. They got like a loyalty program. And then sometimes the box has the schematics on it, but 
it looks like uh, yeah it looks like your o-ring is going to be in there and the internal components so has all that if you ever need to tear into there um, and check it out and, and fix anything or anything like that got their 800 number address all that type of thing so okay got a casking sticker of course and eh, that's kind of interesting you got some uh, stickers you can put on there and uh, they got an example there you put the type of line you got on the pound and then of course you can date it so you know you know how old your line is when you might need to change it out so that's kind of a neat thing I've never seen that before in a in a box like that so um, this reel I believe it was it was either somewhere between sixty five and seventy dollars so it's not a particularly cheap reel um, which is what I'm kind of seeing with how it's designed how it's made that's made a little bit better than than some of the ones I've I've have um, so that that's okay that's still a pretty cheap reel though uh, they can get a lot more expensive so it's still in that price range that uh, you're not going to be too worried about it if it if it does break um, you're, you're not out an extreme amount of money you're not out hundreds of dollars but it's still built well at that price point so and it, it does have 10 10 plus one ball bearings I don't know that I had said that before so uh, here it is the cast king Sharky Bait Feeder 3. I purchased this off Amazon. I'll have a link in the description where you can go to find it if you should want to purchase it. It's one of the few reels or fishing items that was in stock. I got this thing in a couple days with prime shipping. Um, so that's really nice. Um, I'm going to be putting this reel on a ugly stick, big water. I think I got it upside down there, but ugly stick, big water, eight foot medium action, spinning rod. So that will be what it is paired with. And not that it matters, but if you're into cosmetics, the ugly stick, big water is a red and black. So these two are going to look like they were made for each other. Um, so that's kind of cool uh, that, that it will match like that. So thanks for... Thanks for watching uh, the, the reel review. Uh, if you like what you saw, please hit the like. If you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, we, put out, we try to put out videos weekly. We're going to be putting this reel to the test. So follow the channel, watch our fishing videos, especially our carp fishing videos, as uh, you will likely see this reel in action, see what it can do. And uh, if you're looking for more of a performance review, check out those videos. So as always, thanks for watching.